Hi! Let's see how to build and customize a Gantt chart in Confluence with the help of the Table Filter and Charts app. Gantt chart displays the sequence of the main project stages and tasks. So to build it, you need a table with tasks and start and end dates. Now you can add the Gantt chart. Click the funnel icon in the top right corner of the page. Add the chart from table macro. Here you can see all the chart options the app can build from this particular table. The app will suggest you one or several options of data organization. Pick one of them and finally add the chart. Let's make our gun chart even more efficient. First, break down each project stage into tasks. Next, specify the progress percentage. Add the gun chart and you'll see the progress of each task in particular. To make the Gantt chart even more useful, let's add the important milestones and project-related events to it. For that, we'll create two new tables and place them inside the macro body. A table with milestones will have four columns, which describe certain points of each project phase which your team needs to complete before moving on. A table with events should contain event names, brief description and dates. After you place the tables inside the macro body, save the page and choose the settings. You'll see that the milestones are marked as asterisks and the events look like vertical lines crossing the whole project on a particular date. To show that certain tasks depend on the completion of the others, set dependencies between them. Click the cogwheel icon and select the Set Dependencies option. Now you can pull out the arrows and use them to connect tasks. Save the chart settings by clicking the cogwheel icon again and choosing the Save Changes option. To zoom a specific period on a gun chart, hold down the control button and rotate the wheel on your mouse. You can also drag the zoom chart to one side or the other to see the necessary dates. Gun chart colors are totally customizable. You can change them by clicking the cogwheel icon and picking the Select Colors option. If you choose single color, you can set separate colors for tasks, event and milestones. In the multicolor scheme, you can set a specific color for tasks on different stages and for each particular event or milestone. If you want to set your own colors, select them from a table. Add another column and specify particular colors for each task or stage. You can use words or hex codes. See the link in the description to find the list of colors you can set. Next, in the color settings, specify the column with colors. To share a Gantt chart with your colleagues, you can save it as a file. Two options are available, a PDF or Word file. And this is how you can build a Gantt chart using the Table Filter and Charts app. But don't stop here! With the help of this app, you can filter your tables, aggregate data and chain charts on the fly. See the link in the description to try all of these features for free!